Pretty cool shacks. Things all plowed out. Everybody's got easy access. I'll catch the other side of the way back. Trailers, mixed bag of everything, just like you'd see anywhere else. There's an oldie coming up. The bit still going. Another spot. It's got the uh, first spot since quarter after ten. Now uh, quarter after one. No, for me. Quarter after twelve. And then there he's got uh, oh. nothing. Mind you, it's just a tremendous amount of vehicle traffic and uh, as well as snowmobiles. Lots of noise. Pretty much constant. Is uh, go and check out Flat Rock. Uh, we're going to zip around and have a look at the other side now. <coughs> For some reason, there's a lot more on the east side of the road. Reefs or anything out here. I know I'm going to have a new shack out here for next winter. I sure wish the big palace had come along, but it's not to be. All that time and effort and Ended up giving it away. Well, not quite, but I miss it right now. Hey, musky buddy. Remember, next season will be on the hard side. We'll also have the portable. Very comfortable. I'm really impressed with it. Mind you, it's a mild day, but I'm impressed with the quality of the uh, Sub Zero. flush along the west side of the road. I just had to get away from all that noise and traffic and I came over right across the lake here. There's uh, six shacks and only one other guy fishing besides me. It's still quiet but it's sure nice to get away from the skidoos and all that vehicle traffic. Awesome day. Another shack just to the right of the first one here. It's got satellite TV. Man, they sure live it up here in Dryden. I know where I'm coming tomorrow. It's going to be away from the traffic and be 
peace and quiet. It's supposed to be another gorgeous day. Just to give you an idea how far across it is. <coughs> Here's the winter road all the way across down to the to the landing there. You can see all the shacks in the far distance. Talked to the fellow over here just a few minutes ago and he's been here for about three hours. Hasn't had a bite yet, but he's not jigging or anything. He's just uh, typical late afternoon, four o'clock to six o'clock bite when the sun starts to get low. I don't know if I'm going to stick around that long today, but I might. Well, I just had to get away from all that noise and traffic and I came over right across the lake here. There's uh, six shacks and only one other guy fishing besides me. It's still quiet, but it's sure nice to get away from the skidoos and all that vehicle traffic. Awesome day. Another shack just to the right of the first one here. It's got satellite TV. Man, they sure live it up here in Dryden. I know where I'm coming tomorrow. It's going to be away from the traffic and peace and quiet. It's supposed to be another gorgeous day. Just to give you an idea how far across it is. <coughs> Here's the winter road all the way across down to the to the landing there. You can see all the shacks in the far distance. Talked to the fellow over here just a few minutes ago and he's been here for about three hours. Hasn't had a bite yet, but he's not jigging or anything. He's just uh, typical late afternoon, four o'clock to six o'clock bite when the sun starts to get low. I don't know if I'm going to stick around that long today, but I might. <coughs> 